Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College again. Today, we're going to work with equations that have decimals in them. And let's get started. Let's get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Today, we're going to set up equations that have decimals in them, right? Now, don't be scared. Here we go, right there. Now, Charlie, what number must be subtracted from 0 0.34 to obtain 6.46? So, I'm going to help you out, Charlie. Pay attention. What number x must be subtracted from 0 0.34 to get 6.46, right? Okay. To solve this equation for x, we're going to subtract 0 0.34 from both sides. Hopefully, you don't need a calculator for this. 0 0.34, subtract 0 0.34, those cancel, give me that 0, right? And on the right hand side, we're left with what, Charlie? 6.12. Very nice. Notice it's a negative x on the left hand side because we have that subtract x, which we're treating as a negative 1 times x. Remember that. Okay, now. Remember, we're trying to find a 1x, not a negative 1x. And so what do we do, Charlie? Divide by negative 1. Very nice. And so our answer is x equals a negative 6.12. That is correct. And you can check your answer by plugging it into the original equation that we wrote down, right? Anyway, let's move on, Charlie. Don't get scared. A rental car company, Charlie, charges $22.50 a day and $0.15 cents a mile. If you rented a car for two days and you drove 237 miles, how much will you be charged? That's what we're going to figure out. Well, our total cost or our charge is going to be two times 2250 because you rented it for two days and it's 2250 per day. So obviously two times 2250 will give you the amount that they're going to charge you for the two days. Now, also, we must add to this, Charlie, the charge for the mileage. Well, how many miles did we drive? 237. 237, that's right. And each mile costs us how much, Charlie? 15 cents. 15 cents. Now, 15 cents as a decimal is 0 0.15 because it's 15 hundredths, right? 15 hundredths of a dollar is 0 0.15, and that is what 15 cents is. We have to keep the dollar amounts the same. Notice we have 22.2250, which means $22.50, right? The 0 0.50 is the 50 cents. Therefore, the 15 cents must be written as a decimal because that's 15 hundredths. All right. <clears throat> now, order of operations says we have to do what? First, Charlie, multiplication. Multiplication. 2 times 22.50, it's not too bad, is 45, right? But notice we put 45.00 because we're talking about dollar amounts, right? So 45.00 means $45 exact, right? Plus, now 237 times 15 cents gives us how much, Charlie? 35.55. 35.55, which is $35.55. Notice both our decimals are to the nearest hundredths because we're talking about dollars, right? All right, Charlie, now, what's $45 plus $35.55? $80.55. $80.55. That's your total amount. That's how much you're going to be charged, right? All right, Charlie, you got that one. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Now, Candace has $5.45 in quarters and dimes. Don't get scared. She has five less dimes than she has quarters. How many quarters and dimes does she have? I don't know. What's well, we're going to figure out, Charlie? What? Anyway, let's move on. Let's let x equal the number of quarters. And since there are five less dimes, the number of dimes must be x take away five because there's five less dimes than there are quarters, right? All right. <clears throat> now, Charlie, if you had four quarters, how much money do you have? One dollar. A dollar. Because you can think of 25 cents times 4 is 1.00. Watch. So, if x represents the number of quarters, then 0 0.25, 25 cents, times x represents the amount from the quarters. And now, we have to also add the amount of the dimes. Now, a dime is 
What decimal, Charlie? 0 0.10. It's 0 0.10 because a dime is 10 cents of a dollar, right? It's 10 one hundredths of a dollar, which is the 0 0.10. And now, how many dimes do we have, Charlie? X subtract 5. X subtract 5. So the 0 0.10 times X subtract 5 represents the amount from the dimes. So what you're seeing here is we're summing the amount from the quarters and the amount of the dimes, right? Those two amounts, when you add them together, gives you how much, Charlie? $5.45. So it's like, here's the quarters over here, here's the dimes, this value plus this value must equal the $5.45. All right, now there's our equation. Okay, so 0 0.25 times x. What do we have to do here, Charlie? The distributive property, that's right. 0 0.10 times x is 0 0.10x. 0 0.10 times 5 is what, Charlie? 0 0.5. 0 0.50, that's right. And all this has to equal 5.45, the $5.45. Now, here we go, Charlie. What do we do next? Combine like terms. That's right. And 0.25x plus 0.10x is how much, Charlie? 0.35x. Very nice there, Charlie. 0.35x. Bring down our work. And now, what do we do next to solve for x, Charlie? Add 0.5 to both sides. That's right. So let's go up there. Let's add 0.50 to both sides. They cancel out there. Left-hand side is 0.35x. Right-hand side is what, Charlie? 5.95. Very nice there. Now, what do we do to solve for x? Remember, we want 1x. Divide both sides by 0.35. Very nice there. And we get that 1x equals what, Charlie? 17? Very good. That's some good calculator work. All right. So if x equals 17, remember, x minus 5 is what, Charlie? 12. 12. x represents the number of quarters, and x subtract 5 equals the number of dimes, right? So there we have it, 17 quarters and 12 dimes. If you take 17 times 0.25 and 12 times 0 0.10, add those two numbers up, obviously you get 5.45, which is $5.45. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, those coin problems are tough. It's the first time you saw that, and we're going to do a lot more here in pre-algebra, and you're going to do a whole lot more in beginning algebra. That's next semester. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.